Welcome back to another episode of Misplaced Garage. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to be working on my 1973 TS250. I got a plethora of parts over here, still waiting for some more to come in, but I'm gonna start getting working on the bike so it can be ready for summertime. A couple of these parts also go to this bike, but I don't know if you guys wanna to see too much on this bike. I might take some video of it, but maybe not. If I have time, I will, but I'm gonna be focusing most of my time on this bike because this is the bike that really needs it. Uh, I've got stuff like a new taillight cover since that one's shattered, uh, taillight bulbs, brake shoes, oil, engine oil, spark plugs, new uh, oil cap, carburetor rebuild kit, all the good stuff to get this bike moving. Yes, I realize that all this stuff isn't quite the super needed components currently. I do need a headlight still and I do need blinkers still, and a new handlebar because this one's bent. Somebody laid the bike over at some point. Compared to a lot of other bikes that I've changed the oil on, this doesn't look too bad. There's a small little trail here of some metal shavings, but that is nothing too bad. I will definitely take that. The oil also doesn't look too old, so I'm guessing it's been replaced-ish. Transmission oil usually doesn't get too dark. So this bike actually doesn't have a dipstick of any sort, which is kind of weird to me. But it shows that it should be exactly 700 cc's, which in turn means 700 milliliters. This bottle has 946 milliliters, so 950. That means there will be 250 milliliters left in this bottle when it is full. This is a obviously made in Japan one. This one is made in China. Looks nearly identical. I didn't go for the made in Japan one because I did not feel like spending an extra like $65 just for something that was made in Japan. This will probably also end up getting broken at some point, so it doesn't mean that much to me. Looking like I also missed the fact that it doesn't have a seal on it, so whatever is what it is. This is a new tail light. And I did not mean to order 10 of these, but I have 10 of these now, so I can break as many as I want. Now that I got the taillight and the oil changed, I'm going to move on to a new start spark plug for the bike. Uh, probably would have rather gone with an NGK for the bike, but these were a good deal and they were cheap and there's nothing really wrong with Champion. I think NGK is better personally, but there's nothing wrong with a good old champion plug. So I'll throw this in there, and get it all torqued out and make sure it's to the correct gap. So the oil tank is under the seat. Obviously, this is not a good sign when you start pulling up old jean material. <laughs> but I'll throw that away. Take this hose clamp off somehow. Now that I got it off, I'm gonna go ahead and siphon out as much two-stroke oil that I can out of there. One being that I don't actually know how old it is, and two being I don't know if it's for sure the correct oil that I want to be using in it. So, siphon it out, put some new stuff in. You know, I'm sure the oil that was in there was probably fine, but there's nothing like being 100% certain that it's fine. So, throw some of this Yamalu 2S in there. Big fan of how this stuff smells. And now for the best part. Now that I topped it up with two-stroke oil, took about half the quart of Yamalu 
So now I have half the quart for the other bike, which is just about perfect. Don't really know what that is. Let's go in there. Guessing that goes there. This goes here. Out of boom, brand new oil cap. Let's see if it works. Boom. That oil cap is perfect. Now that I did most of the easy stuff today, I should be able to get to the uh, brake shoes and the carburetor rebuild kit here soon. I need to order a couple more parts, like a new uh, gas line and uh, gas filter and stuff like that. But I also need to order whatever pin connects this to the brake lever, because this is what controls the rear brake light and I am missing the pin, so I need to get that. I now have the old carburetor to this bike because I don't really want to reuse the new one that the guy put on. Not that it's bad, I just don't like that aftermarket part stuff. And I'm gonna use some throttle body and air intake cleaner. Carb cleaner will also work. Whatever you want to use. Carburetor rebuild kit and some glow. Now I've gone through and cleaned every single passage inside of here. I also replaced the air to fuel screw over here, or I guess the mix ratio screw. Screw it all the way down lightly, then back it off uh, one and a quarter turns. Everything else has been thoroughly cleaned. Uh, the exterior does not look clean, but I don't really care. It's a dirt bike, so it's gonna get dirty one way or another. Now I gotta figure out what setting to get this guy on. Don't know the proper terminology here, so bear with me. I know that I have to get this a certain number of little clicks on this guy, or it won't run quite right, so I gotta figure out how it should be. Which it looks like, if this was taken off with the second one down, that's probably how it should be when I put it back together. I'm gonna pull the old slash new carburetor off of the bike and get this kind of squared away, figure out what's going on here. Uh, carburetor looks mostly fine, I just don't really like that. I don't want a bigger one on my bike when the bike was designed the way it should be. There's also no reason to put a larger carburetor on if you're not gonna actually have the port size continuous throughout the machine. So, say this size is however large that is, let's just say like an inch and a half, just because that's where my brain tells me. Then you have this, which connects onto here, and this is only like three quarters of an inch to an inch, somewhere in there. There's no reason to put a larger carburetor on if you're going to bottleneck the carburetor down. So, nonetheless, I don't really like Chinese quality carburetors because they always leak, they never work and function how they should. So this is good for parts, but that's pretty much it to me. And so now this part was under the air intake, which sits right here and goes towards the carburetor. And as you can see, it was completely mangled to get this to fit, which I can't even assume that was fitting very well to start with. And for the old carburetor, it's for one, not long enough and it's way too big. So now I got to source one of these boots and I think that's going to be pretty darn hard. And while I have the air cleaner out, I'm gonna go ahead and go clean this. So then I have a nice and clean air filter. I'm gonna use the uh, K&N air filter cleaner. I assume it'll be fine. Now I'm gonna kinda leave all my carburetor stuff in this pan so that I can't lose it. But this is the exhaust baffle and it looks like I'm missing the screw to it. Somehow I happen to have some stainless steel Phillips head screws. These are a bit too long so I should be able to cut this down and make it fit nicer unless I happen to come across another screw that will fit. 
And if you're wondering, the thread size is M6-1 by by probably, I would say five or 10, rather than 25, because 25 is the length. I just took that bolt, cut it down, then filed the end so it was a nice bevel, and now it actually screws in. And this will work as a new bolt. Well, I guess if it would screw in on camera, but it'll screw in off camera. Well, of course, the bike got laid over since this has been out, so I rounded out the tube or made it flat, so. Anyways guys, I think I'm gonna leave that video here. The only thing I didn't really get to was the front and rear brakes, but that'll be either in another video or not videoed at all. I don't know. I feel like I got a lot of progress done. I did get the baffle back in, so that's how it should be. So it will be a little bit quieter. Now I gotta order a couple more parts like that little intake air tube and Obviously other stuff, but that's a major factor to getting this bike running. If you guys liked the video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.